Okay, write the name of each. I added a word, regular polygon. Whenever you see the word regular, it means within the shape, not only are each of the sides the same measure, but each of the interior angles are the same measure of a regular polygon. So for example, for a four-sided regular polygon, that would have to be the square. Because the square is the only one, well, all four sides have uh, are the same, and all four angles measure 90 degrees. So square is the four-sided. There are other four-sided uh, quadrilaterals. You've got trapezoid, you have rectangle, you have kite, you have rhombus, you also just have the general four-sided quadrilateral. But the regular polygon for a four-sided is a square. For a three-sided, it's not just any triangle. Let's see if I can do this. It's an equilateral triangle. All three angles are 60 degrees, and all three sides have the same measure. So for a three-sided, it's an equilateral triangle. All right, so we have this list. So for a three-sided regular polygon, that would be an equilateral Equilateral, except for I just started writing it twice. Triangle. For a four sided, it's a square. Five sided, pentagon. In fact, if you look up pentagon um, in DC, you'll see the shape is an actual pentagon. Six sided, hexagon, seven-sided, heptagon, eight-sided, stop sign. Ooh, I made that look like a Q. I apologize. Octagon. Nine-sided is non-agon. Ten-side is decagon. And they, they continue. Um, another common one is 12-sided. And that's a dodecagon. All right. So, yeah, then you just take the time and count the sides. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this would be a heptagon. 1, 2, three, four, five, six, this would be a hexagon. So as long as you have your list and you are being told that these are regular polygons, which I've done here, you just count the sides. This looks like a stop sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, normally this would be a red sign. It would say stop in the middle. This is an octagon. Here we have a pentagon. There's five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And this might be a decagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten sided. That's a decagon. All right. So now, if you wanted to find the interior angle, here, here's an easy way to do it. Take 180 degrees, multiply that by the number of sides there are, subtract 2. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 180 degrees times 6, subtract 2. So 180 degrees 
times 4. So that's how many total degrees are in here. And then there are six angles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Divide 720 degrees. Divide by 6. And we get each of those interior angles are 120 degrees. So this angle is 120. 120. You get the idea. So now we have a pentagon. So that's 180 degrees. 5 subtract 2. That will give us our total amount. So 180 degrees times 3, which is 540 degrees. And then we're going to divide that by the number of angles. Divide that by 5. And what do we end up with? 100 eight degrees. So each one of these angles are 108 degrees. Now you need to find the exterior. So if you are right here, find the interior amount and I'm going to extend the line And now look at what I have. I have a straight line. I have 120. That must mean that this angle is 60 because 60 plus 120 adds up to 180. Let's see if I can continue to do that. Yep, this angle is 120, so this angle will be 60. If I extend it there, 60. Extend it here, 60. So that's the easiest, I think, way to do it. So a minute ago, we did a pentagon. So in the pentagon, each interior angle was 100, whoops, 108 degrees. So if I extend that to be a straight line, I just say 180, subtract 108. And what do we end up, do we end up with? You'd think I could do that on the fly. I think it's 92 degrees. Oh, 72. See, I'm glad I checked. Uh, 72 degree angle. Right there. All right. So now let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 180 degrees. 8 sides subtract 2. So 180 degrees times 6, uh, I think that's 1,080 degrees. So I'm going to do this. Yep, 1,080 degrees. Now we're going to divide that by the 8 angles that it has. So 1,080 Divide 8. Ah, it looks like 135 degrees. It goes into 45 times. So if this is 135 degrees, then when we extend that out, 180 degrees, subtract 135 degrees, gives us a 45, whoops, a 45 degree angle. So each one of these exterior angles, you keep extending the line. Every one of those exterior angles are 45 degrees. Just like that. All right. That's it for um, naming regular polygons and finding the interior and exterior angles.